Hi everyone, this is Michelle of Slovenska Kuchynia and welcome to my Slovenian kitchen. Growing up in a Slovenian household, soup was on a regular repeat and it didn't matter what the season. It consisted of mommy's homemade broth and some kind of homemade noodle. My mom always had different shaped noodles on hand. Today I'm going to share one of my personal favorites. In Slovenian we call it ribana kasha which is like a grated pasta dough for soup. Are you ready? Let's get started. We begin by beating one large egg. And now we're just gonna grab another bowl and we're gonna add three quarter cups of flour. Now we're just gonna make a little well in the middle and then we're gonna be adding in our beaten egg. Now for the last ingredient, we're going to add in a half teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to be using either a fork or your fingers and we're going to incorporate the flour into the egg and we're going to keep mixing until you get a crumbly mixture. mixture starts to come together it will resemble couscous. So it looks ready we're just going to turn it over onto a kitchen bench and we will knead by hand to form a ball. The dough must be very hard. If you feel that the dough is crumbling you can add a little bit of water but you must remember that the dough needs to be very very hard. So now we're just going to shape it into a puck. We're going to wrap it up and place it into the freezer for 30 minutes. So it's time to grate our dough and turn it into a delicious noodle pasta. So we're going to take out our box graters. We're going to be using the side with the larger holes. We are going to lay the noodles out onto a baking sheet that's been lined with parchment paper, or you can also use a tablecloth. If you're going to be using the noodle pasta right away, what you're going to want to do is let it dry for at least an hour before adding it to the broth. And this is just to make sure that the dough doesn't stick together. You can also dry it overnight if you want to store it for future use, uh, but just make sure that you uh, seal it in a uh, airtight container. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. I look forward to seeing you again next time when I share another delicious recipe for my Slovenian kitchen. Until then, nizdravje and dobar tek. Adio! If you enjoy watching my videos, please give me a great big thumbs up below. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you can get a notification every time I post a new recipe. Thanks for watching!